Hi all and welcome back to my channel, that's me again, your NSC in the place to be. <laughs> yeah, today I just want to talk uh, with you about some great thermal pads. Um, I got here some really really great thermal pads and I just wanted to show you that. I just wanted to share this with you guys because this here is, uh, we can say, way better as some thermal compound. Um, you already know from my videos um, that I have used it a lot of times some great thermal compound like the Arctic Silver 5 or let's say the MX2 or MX4. They was all really really great. I still can recommend the thermal compound from uh, the MX4. A lot of people was yeah, asking me a lot of stuff about some thermal compounds and some thermal pads. And yeah, this and more I just want to talk about you. Uh, more about that just after my intro. Let's go! And see in the place to be and see Yeah guys, um, back again here like I told very very great thermal pads <laughs> Yeah, the thing is um, this thermal pads they are very very thin and you can uh, just apply them over a CPU or a GPU, just can put them, yeah, between the die or the heat spreader or on some GPUs or, or, or CPUs, you can just put it uh, just over that. You don't need some uh, thermal compound anymore. And um, like I told, I had a lot of people that was asking me about, uh, we can say, yeah, liquid metal, if I can still recommend to use liquid metal on PlayStations, like let's say on consoles, uh, not only PlayStations, we are talking here on all consoles, on about PlayStations and Xbox or Xboxes and uh, yeah, whatever, uh, Nintendos and uh, CPUs on notebooks or, or CPUs on, on just some desktop uh, computers. And um, I really need to say myself, I have used a long time uh, the liquid metal thermal compound and I had always the same problem after one year or two, uh, the uh, liquid metal thermal compound uh, was getting really hard. And sometimes the pressure uh, was not enough to uh, get it really cool. So I have noticed uh, a lot of times um, that on playstations or on consoles, uh, liquid metal is not that recommend because um, for first, the temperature differences uh, are not that big, are nothing we can say, maybe just faster, so that means the the temperature uh, can yeah be faster cooled, but the the I mean if it's thirty degrees or thirty one dot five, this doesn't matter, okay? This is just not enough uh, liquid metal after one or two years gets really hard, and you really need to scratch it away when you want to clean the CPU. Or whatever you will really need to um, lap it away or scratch it with your fingernail because this liquid metal thermal compound really gets very very hard and I think um, just to keep all beautiful you know <laughs> you should go for the normal temple com uh, thermal compound just like MX2 or MX4 maybe you can also apply some great ones from IC diamond or we can say from Thermal Grizzly, uh, just like this one here. Um, these are the same guys here. Uh, great thermal compound also. And I got here this time. I really got here a great, uh, some great thermal pads. And uh, yeah, this is really some high-end thermal pads that I just want to show you. Uh, these ones here are, we can say, really, really great. And damn damn high-end okay these are really some powerful thermal pads but um, for yet I don't know which I'm gonna use it because um, this ones here I have found these are graphite thermal pads and uh, with uh, 35 we can say V or W M K uh, a lot of people now will maybe ask yourself or maybe will ask me uh, what this means and um, I have now just prepared my smartphone also for you guys that you can see that um, what this stays for and uh, I, I think you, you should take a look about that so just here 
let me just focus that you can see what this means so you guys um, can read this and uh, yeah this other what per meter Kelvin so um, it's uh, necessary so that you can understand how fast uh, the heat um, gonna be transferred to the cooler okay so and um, as more you have here as faster the heat can be tra transferred I think um, yeah I hope you can understand uh, what I'm trying to explain because um, this is for me to explain in English is very difficult but you can read a lot about that and you should also read about that we just want to have some more plans some more infos you should really read about this stuff here okay it's really great and just to compare uh, let's say like um, let's say like um, yeah the MX4 thermal compound yeah here I have searched it already they have about seven or eight here let's see here 8.5 WMK I don't know how I can call it in English um, but here you can also this is now in German but you can see here um, 8.5 okay so let me just focus again here we go so this is just um, that you can understand in English that means just how fast the heat uh, gonna be transferred to the cooler okay so as more V M K or as more W M K you have as faster the heat will be transferred to the cooler okay and that's really great and that's why I have just show you this so M K uh, M X four I mean has about eight dot five and uh, liquid metal has about I think uh, about seventy five or eighty so let me just check this out. Um, here we go liquid metal here I have searched already for you guys uh, I'm now here on some German sites but this doesn't care or it doesn't matter so um, yeah it has about 80 or we can say over 80 uh, WMK okay so uh, the heat transferring um, is here very very fast and very very high because it's liquid metal and metal has we can say of course a great heat transfer because it's metal but the problem is that uh, this stuff with the time it gets hard and um, yeah sometimes uh, some chips or some heat spreaders and some coolers just don't like it you also you can't use uh, liquid metal on aluminium coolers because this will just destroy some aluminium coolers that say it will destroy all aluminium coolers when you use um, yeah liquid metal on aluminium and that's why I have like I told long ago I have uh, used it, liquid metal on some PlayStation 3 heat breeders but the heat breeders they are Cooper and not aluminium okay because a lot of people just has write me sometimes some comments oh are you crazy you can't use that on aluminium yeah I know that <laughs> I'm not stupid you know but um, the heat spreaders from the PlayStation 3 they are Cooper okay and that's why you just you need to lap it a bit when you have the heat spreader from the PlayStation 3 you can just lap it a bit and then you will see the Cooper and then you can apply the um, liquid metal thermal compound yeah, um, so this was all now just to explain you what I mean and let's just take here a look. Um, these are now the thermal pads from um, Graphite. I have just found them on eBay and I'm gonna post you the link on my YouTube or my video um, description and here just that you can see they are really so thin. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, 0 0.2 millimeters, so so damn thin, and you can apply them over the CPU itself, and then you can just put the cooler together, and you can just close all together, and you never more will need some thermal compound. 
here I got like I told this from um, Thermal Grizzly and uh, I know a lot of people are now waiting for my giveaway code <laughs> yeah my giveaway code from the PlayStation 3 Slim Edition that I have made with plexiglass which I have made a great um, yeah we can say um, case modification here we are uh, with the same one from Thermal Grizzly here we got a lot more uh, WMK <laughs> um, 62.5 it's the heat transferring pair watts or whatever it calls in English so but I have now explained you how uh, what this means otherwise you can uh, google about that and you should read a lot of stuff about it so that you can understand what I mean Okay, so this is all, of course, a bit difficult for me to explain you this all in English, but like always, I just try my best, okay? This one here uh, with um, 62.5, this is nearly that great as, we can say, liquid metal, but way, way, way better as MX4 or Arctic Silver 5 or we can say IC Diamond. Um, uh, yeah, let's now just first open this. Uh, let's see. First time opening with you guys. And um, I have already heard a lot of great stuff about this thermal pads. But in the time where I have just found it the first time, this thermal pads was not that great. Okay, but now with the time, they have just made some real great high end thermal pads, which are really th so thin and maybe you will never more need to use we can say a uh, thermal compound okay so maybe in future you will be just able to use some thermal pads and um, yeah this maybe will be just enough so here I think we need to open this really really hardcore here we go so here's one falling down or whatever, I don't know. Yes, I think yes. So I think this was not that great inside. So here you need to take care because if this is the one, then it's a bit sad that it was just sitting like here. I'm gonna not just put it here and uh, should be two of them, I don't know, or maybe just one. No, it's just one, and uh, of course um, the thermal um, pad from Thermal Grizzly was way expensive as this ones from Graphite on eBay. These two here are a bit cheaper, but I think 35 uh, MK should be really enough because, <laughs> yeah, at last it's way better um, as we can say. The thermal compound from MX4, or let's say uh, the thermal compound uh, from Art Arctic Silver 5, and whatever you can, yeah, you will find a lot of thermal compounds uh, on this time. You can find a lot of thermal compounds everywhere. You can find some cheap thermal compounds, and you should just use great stuff because otherwise, your CPU, GPU, or PlayStation, or Xbox, or whatever will overheat extremely fast. So that means. As better the thermal compound is, as longer you can use it. Yeah, um, I think this was all that I wanted to explain you. I'm gonna do maybe tomorrow um, a video where I will test it. Maybe where I will test both of them on a PlayStation 3 Slim Edition, which has already a custom firmware where I can also control the temperatures and make some temperature tests and whatever okay but I think I'm gonna begin uh, with this ones here from Graphite thermal pads with uh, 35 MK this is really way way higher <laughs> as uh, some thermal compound and um, I'm gonna do also some, temper uh, some temperature tests and all the rest and uh, maybe after this video I'm gonna do one more video where I'm gonna show the same stuff with the thermal pad from Thermal Grizzly 
where I think this will not be a big difference because 35 is really so damn high. I think, um, yeah, it will not be a big difference. If you have on your PlayStation or on your CPU, on your computer, if you have 38 degrees or 38.5, I think it doesn't matter because these are not some big differences, you know. Okay, guys, uh, yeah. For last, uh, I know a lot of people are waiting for, uh, like I told, the giveaway code for the great PlayStation 3 Slim Edition. Um, I'm going to give you the code now. Uh, you will, for first, need the very first code that I have already give. I will not uh, tell you on which video it was. Uh, a lot of people that are yeah, already following my videos every day, <laughs> they know uh, what I'm talking about. So the first codes, um, it was three numbers. I have given it already on a video. We will find it somewhere. I'm gonna not tell you because this will be just too easy for you guys. And um, the next code numbers, um, yeah, you can find on my uh, intro, on the very first pick on my intro, I show you a PlayStation 3 Fat Edition, which has, uh, we can say, two uh, temperature displays. And on these two temperature displays, you will find, we can say, six numbers. So these are the first, uh, we can say, the second <laughs> six numbers for the giveaway code. Um, and I will not tell you here right now which the numbers are, because this is just a challenge for you. You will need it to find it yourself. You will need to find it out yourself. So on my intro, uh, the first PlayStation 3 uh, Fat Edition that is displayed on my intro, you will see the temperatures from the CPU and GPU, and uh, yeah, this will be automatically uh, 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 this will be automatically also we can say the uh, codes for the PlayStation 3 Slim Edition for the giveaway. For the PlayStation 3 Slim Edition. Okay, guys, I hope you have understood it, <laughs> because I, of course, I will not make it that hard, but also not too easy. Uh, you will be able to win um, this PlayStation 3 Slim Edition if you have the right code numbers. <laughs> like I told, the first ones, a lot of people already know, and this, yeah, the next six code numbers. You will find on my YouTube intro on the first picture from the PlayStation 3 Fat Edition on the temperature displays. Okay, guys, this was all for me. LNC in the place to be. Hehe. <laughs> Greetings to all, to all guys and to all the people outside there. And um, subscribe to my channel for more giveaways and for more stuff like that. And thumbs up, of course. And I hope. I can help a lot of you peoples and uh, yeah, like I told, greetings to all you guys and to my wife, to my uh, yeah, friends, to my um, children, to my family, to my mother, sister and all the rest. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy it and stay tuned to my channel, otherwise you will miss some stuff. <laughs> okay guys, see ya, peace and see in the place to be. Bye bye. NC in the place to be and see